Okay, so I've sat at this desk the entire summer and listened to Preston talk betting and sports. So now, I'm gonna dip my feet into the pool. My first bet, it's, wait a minute, for dramatic effect, my first bet is Matthew Stafford for MVP. Did you think it'd be anything else? Now I got it at 16 to one, and it's a winner. I know you guys haven't seen him play much because who in their right mind will watch Detroit Lions games, right? So here's the skinny on Matthew Stafford. He's a gamer. Leaving Detroit is the ultimate accomplishment in sports, and it's no different for Matthew Stafford. Now for the longest time, I would go on spells where I would call Stafford trash, but I always thought he was a good quarterback. Is he Aaron Rodgers? No, but he's close. Now your other criticism of Matthew Stafford stems from his years with Megatron. With Johnson from 2009 to 2015, Stafford started 93 games, threw for 25,976 yards, 163 touchdowns, and 98 interceptions, which was good for a passer rating of 85.8. Now in the four seasons without Megatron, he's gotten better. With a passer rating of 96, he's thrown for 19,133 yards, 119 touchdowns, and only 46 interceptions, all while playing for the Detroit Lions and having absolutely zero weapons, or at least ones that could stay on the field. When you watch Matthew Stafford play, you watch for one thing and one thing only, turnovers. Early in his career, he was a bad decision maker, but he's not a turnover machine. And finally, he's tough. He's played 16 games in nine seasons, and he's consistent and he will battle all intangibles you need for a great quarterback. Now, I wouldn't worry about his back injury. His last season, he played all 16 games under center for the Lions. But I do worry about his thumb and other hand injuries. In 2016, when he was a dark horse MVP, it was the one season Derek Carr was good, he tore a ligament in his middle finger, and it derailed his play towards the end of the season. Now, he didn't have the best numbers from a statistical standpoint, but he had eight comeback victories and led the Lions to the playoffs. It was a Herculean effort. So... That's my pick for the 2021 MVP. And I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a stand.